They got Sorry. they got to, they got to advertise it better. Yeah. So I'm just itching at this because it's just it would it's boggles very, the mind. It's a very there polarizing two, topic. No, there's just, it's not polarizing. There's one right answer. Why the hell do we have? <laughs> are we sending viewers to like four different places on a week to week basis? Like last week at or two weeks ago at Nashville, the race was on Big NBC, right? Well, if you turned into Big NBC, tuned into Big NBC, you know, 45 minutes before the race, you weren't getting NASCAR. No, you were sent. You had to go to Peacock. You had to pull your phone out, your laptop, yes. out and subscribe for you five were watching, or months a month. You were watching like running or something like that. If you wanted to watch the pre-race show two weeks ago, you have to subscribe and pay money to Peacock. Okay, well that's fine. I'll pay my five or ten bucks to Peacock. That means I can cut cable finally, right? You know, I really just want cable to watch NASCAR, anyways. So this should help me watch every. I can watch every race on Peacock, right? What, well, you're telling me a week later, no, I can't? I still have to pay for cable? Well, that defeats the whole purpose of Peacock, like you said, Jared. So I just, it doesn't make any, I, it's greedy, it's what it is, but I also think it's short-sighted because nobody's going to subscribe to Peacock if I can't get two-thirds of my races there. Well, so simultaneously, you're pissing viewers off because they're now not able to watch pre-race for half these races without you know paying an extra fee, but, but now I can't even cut cable. 